what I miss most is her smile, the way she smiled and the way she laughed and the way I could hug her, feel her, because I, I needed to hold her all the time in my arms. Uh, she was feisty. <laughs> and she, was, she was very intelligent. She didn't have the strength that other babies had to stand up. She was very, very weak. They told us they think they ha she ha she's having mitochondrial disease. It goes straight to the part of the brain that deals with breathing, deals with everything essential. And after that, everything just went down, collapsed. And from there, I didn't came back. Actually, she didn't came back. I did, we didn't came back with her. Yeah. At Noah's Ark, we have a bereavement service and we support <laughs> any family whose child has died within the past three years and three months. As soon as we know that we have a child coming post-death, we make sure that our bereavement suite is ready. So for Nadia, we set it up as a nursery with her cot and with lots of teddy bears. When we came in, we saw it was a nice room. She was in a crib, nicely tucked in. Like she was sleeping? Yeah, exactly, like she was sleeping. When Andrea and Costel arrived, they were very calm and quiet and considered. It was surreal, I think, because at that point I was out of my body. I, I, you know, you can't process anything. I couldn't cry. Basically, I couldn't cry. I knew something wasn't right, that I'm missing a part of, of me. That was Nadia. Most of us don't experience a child dying, and we wouldn't know what to do next. But thankfully, there are staff here, and we do know what to do. We even received information about burial, information about where, who to contact when you're not capable of doing any of that. The support we provide, as with everything we do at Noah's Ark, is very family-led. And I think what we offer families is a space where they can talk about their child, they can talk about their sadness, they can talk about their grief in a place where we're not going to hide away from it. The counselling helped me a lot, helped me go through, through the pain and understand the pain. It's great we have a community here and we can... <sighs> We can come here whenever we, we need. After Nadia died, they had a long period of their lives just feeling like there was nothing left. It has taken them a lot of work and a lot of patience and a lot of pain to get to a point now where they are beginning to see that there, there is more life that they can live. And I think that they are beginning to find a way through it.